The word shaman is actually a Siberian word, and it refers to a medicine man or medicine woman. They're called by different names in different societies, and the, the Inca called them pacos. Um, but they're the wisdom keepers, the healers, the midwives, the herbalists, the, uh, the ones that assist the dead, the dying to go back to the world of spirit. The shaman is the one who mediates between the visible and the invisible world, who helps things to be born from the invisible world and to return back to the world of spirit. The modern shaman, the modern shaman is an individual who is a healer, who brings healing to individuals, to schools, to corporations, who lives by a sense of ethics. It's an individual that is conscious of their relationship and stewardship of the earth. There is a modern shamanism and my job is to train modern shamans. I train men and women to be healers in a very ill world. We live in a very sick society. We're poisoning our children and keeping them trapped, trapped in a medical system that will keep them dependent to the day they die. So from birth to grave, we are uh, poisoning them. We're, uh, our, through our medication, through our food, through the interventions that we're providing for them. And while Western medicine is extraordinary for the healing of trauma, if you get bit by a serpent, you do not want to go to your shaman. You want to go to the ER. And then you want to go to your shaman to find out why the snake bit you in the first place. But our Western medicine is extraordinary for trauma. It's not very good for chronic conditions. One out of three children in America is going to be diabetic. 20 years ago, one in 10,000 children was diagnosed as autistic. Today, that's one in 100. So we live in a society that's ill. The third leading cause of death in America today are hospitals. So we have a need for healers, for healers that can bring us back into balance with the earth, that can bring wholeness back to our families, and that can dream a new relationship with each other, with the planet, and with our destiny, that can dream that into being. We want our children's children to inherit a different world than the one that we've created for ourselves. That's the task of the shaman, is dreaming the world into being. Classically, the shaman was a, uh, a man or a woman of power. They had mastered working with energy. And they knew that they could use that power to heal or to destroy. In fact, there's no difference between the techniques that are used to heal or used to kill someone. They're absolutely identical. The only difference is the ethics and the intention of the shaman. So the task of the shaman, of the healer, is to use their personal power to serve a sacred dream, not their personal dream. When they started using personal power to serve themselves only, they were abusing that power. Now, of course, that's the Western definition of success, is when you use your personal power to build personal wealth only. Whereas for the shaman, it's a measure of your compassion and generosity, how you're able to be in service to the planet and to the community.